like that. So if you're going to die, you got to make sure you secure the football. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what? The second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out there. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 6-0 our score after one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And this one is incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Terry Kill, 47 yards. And the Dolphins have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw, and the defense, they had no answer for that right there. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and they take the lead here at 7 to 6. Now, after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think, kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me... It's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. After the turnover, it's Tua. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. This one complete to Jalen Water. And he is brought down, but now before reaching the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Toss right side, HM with it. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. So, not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now, two are going to change the play. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. And it's intercepted at the goal line. John Johnson with the INT. And the Rams are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. First 
They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They run it again with Williams. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Jalen Ramsey brought him down. It's a gain of 23 yards. First down, Los Angeles. They try the left side here with Williams. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Oh, they're changing this at the line. Fourth down, Stafford. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down now, but that clock rolling. Play action, Stafford. Going up top for Cup. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out. To the 20. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown out a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. Now a timeout signal for and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Tua, a final shot before half. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson. And the Rams are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
And despite the turnovers, Charles, and, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. They'll try and run here with Mostert. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. Then the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. How right about the big guy there showing some agility? He just fled from his detailed position in order to make that play. starting position to begin the drive but now they look up at a third and five off of play action here's Stafford and did he get the feet down yes touchdown Cooper Cup from 19 yards away and the Rams have retaken a third quarter lead so it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And the Dolphins are going to recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, not that giving up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime makes had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Two and now on first down. That's out to Hill, right side complete. Touchdown, Dolphins! A 20-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage 
almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 up the middle it's Williams and he's able to get up here to the 26 they get 14 yards but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty so from the 26 yard line here's second down at a yard They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, if people wanted to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Now a play fake it at Stafford. to be it's incomplete so they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play back now in Miami all square 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter second and ten Stafford his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there, and it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Inside the 20. They will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, that's what you get apparently when you try to take on a playboy cornerback. And what a play to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is now 21-14. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And how about that return inside the 20 yard line? And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. Maybe I'd go out there and try and stop them, but boy, what a tough spot they're in. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the seven-yard line. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Mar now to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That ties the game at 21 apiece. Brett Maher is set to kick off. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Barrios now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. And the Dolphins, first down. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Solo left side. Here's a handoff to Moster running left. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. On second down, Mostert. Good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. All three timeouts, plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. 21G. Now Tua, a run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Tua going to try and go quickly here. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven.
Up the middle they go with Mostert. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't you? I got to use one right here. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tua. They hand it off to Mostert. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Wow, so they were already in field goal range. Now this and a completely new story to tell. And frankly, what they're going to say when they review this game and go over it, they're going to tell them, he had one job. All right, you knew what you had to get done. You knew where we wanted to kick the field goal from. You know, you know our range. Just take care of the football, and we win the game. Now it's Stafford. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. Moving inside the 20. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of those overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because... There is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Throwing to a Moster he is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. So it all rests now on the right foot of Jason Sanders. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Third down and goal coming up here. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. Here's first and ten. Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. 